All right, uh, so yeah, this is my first Mad City review. I could potentially be the only YouTuber actually creating content, but uh, yeah. This is recorded right after the explaining my absence video. And uh, yeah, today, as you seen by the title, I'll be reviewing, oh, for God's sake, spoiled it. Yeah, you get rocket to the face. Anyway, oh, for God's sake, the door. The Knight Rider, a vehicle of controversy as this weapon vehicle has been changed and just yeah it's just a lot there's a lot to say about this vehicle a lot to not say but anyway it's a one-seater which is which has an upside and a downside but this is a downside having some people on your car get off the car I'll shoot you with my turret don't worry I'll get rid of this there we go die Anyway, I'll just go to a more secluded area to talk about this thing. Oh, okay, all right. Well, it was added a couple years ago, and oh yeah, big. It was um, so it was added a few years ago, and uh, yeah, it was just not not a good vehicle really. I didn't get it when it was on upon release. I didn't play the game. I'll just. No, get out of the thing. There we go. It's a weird glitch, but anyway. But, um, yeah. So it was added, and it did have a tur the torrent on it, so people just thought, oh, it must be a fast car, and obviously it wasn't. And it's the same price as vehicles like the Nero and other stuff. So, hey, you better not shoot at me. I'm going to let you live. Just let me live. Um... So it was just a pretty looking car. Well, pretty. It looks like a shoebox. Like, look at that. That's such an odd shape to the vehicle. Oh, of course, I had to go nighttime. I'll go to a more light, litten up area. That's more simple. I'll just go to the airport. Anyway, that's all it was. Just a good looking car. Now, it has a turret. And I will be showing you if this turret's really worth it. And I'm going to have to do a U turn real quick to show that guy just to show this turret in action and it's loud it's loud it's so loud oh my god it's loud it's a cool looking car I'm not gonna lie but it's just the turret is just it could be so much better I can't see it but it's fast firing infinite ammo obviously it has a cooldown period but where is this guy did he die is that him hold up I guess it's a rock. I don't think you I'll just go elsewhere. Anyway, this thing is just inaccurate. And it doesn't really do that much damage for something that's not accurate. Oh, for God's sake, this car's so loud. I can't hear myself think. But it handles really nice. Honestly, it handles nice. But it drifts weird. Well, actually, compare... You know, it's just... When it drifts... It drifts so weird, unlike other cars which drift differently. And obviously, the most likely watching to see is it worth it? And answer no. There are so many better vehicles that you can be buying. There, right there, there's an example the Nero, or any of those cars are probably faster than this. You could save up just a mil more and get this thing, or buy a tank and just abuse people with it. Well, more like abuse it, it's not abuse people with it. And, uh... It is a cool looking car. It is not slow, but it's not fast. Like, compared to a Camaro, this thing would destroy it. And just because of its kind of nice handling, it just generally is a fast car because of its handling. The handle's kind of nice. I'll rip that guy. Obviously, upsides, it's got a turret, it's nice handling, and it's somewhat fast. It's not Nero level fast, but it's fast. And also, this game just keeps hating on me. Also, it's a cool looking car. Like, it really is a cool looking car, you know. Despite it just looking like a shoe, 
it really is an interesting vehicle. The Tyrant could be more accurate. Uh, it could, the vehicle mechanics could be different. Obviously, upon the update, the vehicle could change altogether. Like the look of it, just everything about it. Just the whole thing of this vehicle could change. But yeah, I'll try and shoot down this helicopter. I'll, I'll just try and get close to it. Because from afar, this thing is not going to work. It also hand it's weird the turret. It moves kinda of slow. Like I'm trying to move it fast, it moves, moves kinda of slow. So for a moving target like a hot rod superhero, it's gonna be difficult to hit them because of the slow movement of the turret. And it's so loud I can't hear myself think. That's another downside. It does 10 damage. Hey, watch yourself. Probably like a bit more accurate than the minigun on that thing. That absolute behemoth. Oh my god. The cooldown is kind of fast. Okay. It does 10 damage. Car's not fast, really. In general, it's just not really worth it. I did a review before, and people seem to not really have mixed opinions because not many people commented on it, but people seem to want to know. That's why I want to do this vehicle first instead of other vehicles because well look at it it's it's just interesting it's just a weird vehicle anyway i'm just gonna jump to the chase before I this. people are jumping off oh because he wants to run the casino i probably want to sit in this car anyway four million do you want to spend on this car no unless you have the other vehicles and want to add a really cool vehicle to your collection it's a good choice because it's it's just a nice weapon. It's a nice vehicle to add to your garage. It's a nice looking vehicle, but it's not four mil. It's not worth four mil. It should be like two mil or something, or like something less. Because you can buy jets for four million dollars, while this thing is just a shoe. That's it. It's just because it's supposed to be a Batmobile, and it's actually based off a Batmobile, but just. Really like this. look at it. You, know, you could just buy this for a million and save three mil more. You could buy the Fury and then this Roadster, which is so much better. Just buy the Roadster. It's right here. Don't it, screw that car. Anyway, uh, so yeah, it's just a nice car to add to a collection. But if you don't have the Nero or the Overdrive, go Team Overdrive. You know, this vehicle is at. Wait, where is this car? It's at the airport, I think. Or save five mil more and buy the Thunderbird, which can float on water. Silence! Oh wait, hold on. We got a, we got a, we got a bogey here. Yeah. All right, I'm just gonna end the video. You know, just don't buy it. It's really not worth it. It's just a really fancy-looking AK. That's literally all it is. Actually, do AKs do more damage? I don't, I don't know. You know, just just get the, the Tech 9, which actually is for free, and boom, you have the Tyrant. Boom, there you go, there you go. You got a Batmobile that just didn't cost you $4 million. <laughs> anyway, uh, goodbye.